All right, it is the week of the sickness. Me and Nicholas are sick as fuck. If you can't tell by my voice, I know one sick fucker. Our special guest this week, his name's Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, True Talent Trent, a.k.a. Ginger Josh. Our first special guest ever. Am I the only one not sick? I think so. Well, not after you're locked up in this room yeah. with us. <laughs> Three, Three dudes guys in a, in a little room. room. Works for me. We're going to talk about you guys. We'll just talk about what's happening right now. And <laughs> we're going to cough and yeah. sneeze. This like- How about Greg Kinnear in Modern Family two weeks ago? Was it that great, guys? Was he his was performance pretty good, so but, awesome? But, you know... He was, it was Greg Kinnear. I've huh? liked them on the Facebook, their pay, Facebook page or whatever, and they... Remember when John Henson back on... They promoted that, like... Back on Talk Soup? It was Soup? the second coming of Christ or something, and yeah. then Greg Kinnear's on there, and it's like, who cares? Remember when John Henson on Talk Soup years ago had this big rivalry against Greg Kinnear? Wasn't uh, Greg Kinnear on Talk Soup? Yeah, before John Henson, I think. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Greg Kinnear used to have his own mm-hmm. late-night talk show, too, with uh, that Craig Kilborn took over? Yes. After he, after he left The Daily Show, and then John Stewart took that over? Yeah, Craig Kilborn? Yeah, mm-hmm. you've already covered that. He was attached to lost. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> Surprise, cockfag! <laughs> I love that movie. It's such a great movie. But we're here to talk about shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, two weeks ago, uh, The Walking Dead came back on. Mid-season finale was a great episode, though. You watched it, right? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. It was, oh, it was fantastic. And who didn't know that that little bitch was already dead, really? After the whole fucking... Well, well I mean, you I didn't f- know she was going to be in there. Yeah, I figured she was dead and they it would was find her. I didn't think it was going to... Yeah, yeah. If you don't think too much about things, then sometimes you get a nice surprise. It was, it was the first time in the season and a half that had been around where you have one of those, like, cover your mouth with both hands moments, you know, when mm-hmm. she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Trying to place bets on who's going to be the one to shoot her in the head. Yeah. But I liked it because Rick did it, because, and it was a crucial point for him to do that because he uh, everybody was kind of doubting him. Up to that his point, leadership. Yeah, up to that point, everybody, well, not everybody, Shane mainly, yeah. was saying that he didn't have what it took to lead him in a... And he was the really, one, yeah. yeah. And he was the one that could go up and shoot and, the I mean, little, yeah, the Shane, Shane was the, uh, the badass whenever the door opened, just killing them all. The little girl comes out, and now he can't do anything. See, and the Rick thing, steps up. The thing we'll have to find out later on is if we go back and watch the DVD sets or whatever, and, you know, have a big marathon or, or something at home, is we'll have to figure out, did that drag on, the storyline with the lost little girl drag on as long as it seemed in real time? Or was it good I think in it, proportion to watching the entire season all at once? That's what we'll have to find out when, you know, season two comes out on I, DVD I think it was good for uh, well, two reasons, really. One... The way they're going to do the seasons where they break up, have a mid-season finale, you had to have something to carry it through it. And Shane's slow descent into madness on the show Mm -hmm. needed more than just a few weeks, you know, to really build. So let's have the little girl there to do that. And at least it led to a nice shock with her stepping out of the barn. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I I felt like they needed something to carry you to the halfway point, and it did a good job of that. A spoiler alert. Shane has outlived his ink and paper counterpart by many, many episodes. <laughs> I wish I'm, that dude died in the first episode. So it's I'm coming. Fine with it. I, It'll I did, probably come in in the same fashion, but it's coming for him. Well, when, when the show started, I couldn't stand the guy that played Shane. I didn't like I didn't like anything about him. I didn't like, you know, him as the good guy, the the second hero. I didn't I didn't like that role for him, but well, the more of a prick he gets to, the, to be, the more funny he is to watch. You I don't want to see him die yet. You should have well, seen him he's back the in. the anti-hero, really. He's yeah. he, the anti-hero. He's the, he's the guy that, uh, he's almost the complete opposite of Rick. Oh, he is the complete opposite of Rick. So, it, it is nice because it's almost like one person the fighting only, it out with themselves. The only thing they have in common is they both banged that one ugly chick. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing yeah. they have in common. And she's not going anywhere. So. No, unfortunately. Ugh, sorry. She's not going anywhere. With, just, with all the makeup people they have on that show, <laughs> couldn't they do something to her? To That person would definitely win an award for best makeup if they can make her look presentable. I figured Josh would pull her name out. Who? Josh Rick's, is just going to surf, wife, surf Rick's the wife internet on the this episode. Dead. I don't know what her name is. That's the, uh, only, that's the only actress in the world he does not know by name, apparently. Bitch is ugly. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I wish she was dead. So yeah, guys, Whitney Houston died. Who gives a fuck about that? Mm. Nobody. Do, do, do you think that like a couple of years ago, if it had happened, nobody would have cared? 
You know I what I mean? Like everybody would have expected late, really. it. I'd, yeah, everybody expected it. That's what that's what I'm saying. That if it you know four or five years ago it happened, people were like, well, of course it happened. But now yeah. it's Pat Oswald said it best on his Twitter, where he said that uh, we've been watching this happen in super slow motion for a long time. <laughs> Speaking of Pat Oswald, uh, you all know I'm not as caught up with you all on Community. <laughs> He's still back in what season well, one? I'm, still? I'm, no, 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 no. I'm I'm over the midway point of season two watching oh. it. But I've only seen him once. Is he is he on there more than once? Unfortunately, no. No, they've got to, they've got to have him mm-hmm. on there again. Him as the doctor was great. Those paps aren't going to smear themselves. Yeah, it's a great line. <laughs> it's a great line. It was good stuff. I love Pat Oswalt. Can we edit that out? That I love Pat Oswalt. No, dude, no. <laughs> that's that's in keep it. that's in stone, bro. It really, really, really hurts my reputation, though. No, he's so funny. Anyway, we railed off again. What else we got here? The river. I've not watched it for what? fear of A, it could be another lost, or B, I want to see if it doesn't get canceled, and then I'll watch a bunch of them at once. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. What is this fucking show you guys are talking about? I don't, about? I don't think it's. I don't River think it's, on ABC. Oh, it's ABC. Brand new. I don't think it's fair to condemn it from the very beginning, saying it might be another lost. No, Lost was great. The, yeah. I like. I love the tail. first. I love the first two seasons of Lost, and then after that. Uh, if you want to drag everybody along, we for have to go back six years and then go. Oh, everybody's dead and in heaven and in church. So, yeah, hell plus with you, guy. Plus, I'd had enough of what is it? Party of Five guy a long time ago. It was on that show. You talking about Party of Five uh, guy? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. One of the guys on Lost the main was character. On Party of Five. Yeah, oh, Party yeah. of Five. Oh, that was where a lot of people got their start. I know a show that I cannot wait to watch over. every single week now. Shameless. You saw Shameless before. I watched Nick. season one. Yeah. I've seen an episode of it. Season two is fucking great. William H. Macy? Yes. Love William H. Macy. Season two, Y'all. I cannot wait to watch it every fucking Sunday. Cannot wait. I know you all have hit on it. this a little bit before. Like, William H. Macy's on a you know a weekly show now. When did this really start where the, you know these bigger, more critically acclaimed actors and actresses started coming back to doing TV instead of movies? Or, you know, not instead of movies. I think it's just a recession, bro. Uh, well, maybe. I, in my opinion, I think that it's steady work instead and steady of... Pay. You know, instead of, oh, I've got to fly out to, uh, you know, Russia for eight months <laughs> and film this movie, you know. It's not just the real big names either. Like, you know, Rob Schneider's got a sitcom out now. Uh. You've got uh, Chevy Chase on, on Community. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just... Yeah, basically, it's just George Clooney and Brad Pitt in movies anymore. I mean, really. And, and uh, Matt Damon. Oh, uh, yeah. Kristen Bell is back on, uh, back on TV now. She's got a Showtime show called uh, House of Lies with Don Cheadle, Ben Schwartz. You know who Ben Schwartz is? Come on, come on, come on. I got nothing. Jean Ralphio. <laughs> so is it a comedy or a drama or it what? It is. I mean, I'll just watch Kristen Bell in anything. I watch Don Cheadle in anything. I don't really like it that much. I love Don Cheadle. What's it's it about? about? The main character is basically Don Cheadle, and it's about this management consulting firm. They're all just trying to get business. It's got Don Olivieri, if you remember, she played Heroes. She played in Heroes. You know, the tattooed chick that played in Heroes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Don Cheadle's ex-wife, and they've got a little, a little boy together, and the little boy is... Struggling to find his sexual identity, I think. Because he, he goes to school and he dresses like a girl and stuff like that. It's a little boring, but it might pick up. It's still on the. It's only, I think, episode six is tonight. Right. So it might pick up. It's it's only a 30 minute show. I think you've got Don Cheadle on it. you got to give it a shot anyway. Yeah, and John Ralphio. Ben but Schwartz. It's only 30 minutes and you're already no, who, bored. Gosh, who's, who's I don't know. Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz in that show is like pretty much John Ralphio on that show. It's probably the only character he can play in reality. I'm lost if you ever saw that other J.J. Abrams uh, show that just got canceled last year, it's called Undercovers. That's where I first saw Ben Schwartz in, in a show. He played this nerd, this nerd hacker, and that show got canceled. That's when you started on Parks and Rec. I wonder if he encrypted things with like spreadsheets earlier. That's <laughs> always doing. I'm going to make a UI and Visual Basic and track his IP address. Doo-doo. It really didn't go anywhere on the river there. <laughs> just, no, the river. Just jumped straight off the river. So, have you watched the river? See, I, I thought that the premiere was this coming week. I thought the premiere was. Oh, so, so you so totally I missed, missed the two-hour yeah. premiere? They said, that the two, they said they like screened the two-hour premiere like it was a Hollywood movie, you know, big theaters full of people and everything, instead of just like, oh, here's our new TV show, and presented it to them like it was a movie. And then everybody came out thinking that they'd watched a brand new movie instead of a TV show, like the quality of it and you know everything like that, that it came off more like a movie. So I was really wanting to watch it, but I thought it premiered this week, so I totally missed it. I give it one season and then a... Well, it'll about. either be really hot and carry on for too long, I wish we had or like an it'll be really good and get dropped. Right. You know, it seems the way it goes a lot now. There is magic out there. People always tell me that the reason they loved Emmett's show was because they wanted to be part of our own perfect little family. 
Do you get that? Yes, we got it. <laughs> We'll see you next week, I hope. Your father is not dead. They found his beacon yesterday, after six months. I can find the ship. Here, 55 kilometers west. There's nothing there, Lena. It's not on the map. It doesn't exist. A boat doesn't just disappear. Can we go there? Tell the crew. We found the beacon. We're close. from inside. It's welded shut from all the way around. Why would somebody do that? Yep. Someone welded the door shut. Someone survived. There is magic out there. So let's go see it. Oh, guys, you see that trailer? That oh. really makes me want to watch it. I see. I told you all. Told you all. <clears throat> yeah. So it's one of those. It's like okay, you know, you've got the uh, the comedies on like Parks and Rec and The Office, where it's the everybody's aware that the camera's there. Mm -hmm. But now you've got a dramatic horror show that's in you know the same way. I don't remember what the the backstory was, but Emmett Brown is that the person they keep saying on TV? Millions of people tuned in to find out what happened to Emmett Brown. <laughs> yes, yeah. In the search for Emmett Brown. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Emmett something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Emmett Brown. We still talking about the river? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay. Emmett Cole. Emmett Cole. Emmett Cole. There well, you go. See? Well, it'd be a lot better That's if it was what Emmett happens Brown. when you spend eight minutes talking about a show that nobody here has seen. We should, we should do that again sometime. Yeah, let's wrap this bitch up. Yeah. I think you have a question over there, Nicholas. Maybe the guest should. Think of a question? Yeah. Like, think it... Current TV shows out right now. Best supporting actor in a TV show right now. Comedy. Supporting actor in a comedy. I know who yours is going to be. Yeah, you know who mine's going to be. Got to got to throw it out there. Dulé Hill is Burton Guster in Psych. Nick. I don't even know what who, what constitute constitutes <laughs> constipate. You don't, I don't know even what know what constitutes you. a supporting actor on the office anymore. Like who's a supporting who's uh, a lead? That's I was thinking about community, but everybody's a supporting actor. Yeah, we were talking about that so, show. Earlier. I'll just say Oscar on the office. I like him a lot. He's always funny to me. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go with Steve Howie on Shameless. That's a comedy drama. Does that count? Well, yeah, because it's like a dramedy. You know, it's. You might know who Steve Howie is. And what's he in that I would miss? Reba. He played Van in Reba. Reba. The, like, daughter's boyfriend? Yeah, the dude that played in Reba football. Shy and whatever. I haven't heard of she is too. What's the, what's the Van guy? Steve Howie? Yeah. He plays in Shameless. He plays as uh, Kevin in Shameless. He's fucking awesome. Reba is a stupid ass show, but. It was about that one woman Reba. He's Reba's my right favorite now. character in Shameless, I think, so far. Besides Amy Rossum, whose eyes made me want to come all over the TV. Again? Did I say that? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you uh, don't want to watch TV at his house, man. It's awesome. All right. Well, we're out of here, fuckers.